Mr. Morgan, Mr. Morgan, you saved my life, and I'm... Well, I'm very grateful. Don't mention it, Reverend. I, I made a fool of myself. We've all done it. I just... I just... I get so confused and, and angry, and then I, I hear God laughing at me, and I get even angrier, and... Well, I'm a real prized dolt. I know it. All right, well, I should be getting on. I guess. Glad to be off that mountain, Mr. Pearson. Yes, indeed. Lots to do now. Yeah, for all of us. You're stalking me too, Arthur. You getting crazy, Dutch? He's just loved it. Turn a good, honest fella to drink. Being a bad, dishonest fella, it's gonna send me to drink twice as fast. I just can't cope, really. I can't. Dear Arthur, I've written this letter a hundred times or more, and I cannot get it right. It's me. You know it's me from the bad handwriting. I know I said when we last spoke, and I was going off to get married, that we would not speak again. I know I said a lot of things, and I meant them, I suppose, at the time. But I'm not so proud as to not speak to people who care for me, or cared for me. I've been in Valentine for a couple of months. I had some bad luck, and, well, it's a long story and not an interesting one. But I am here for now. I saw a couple of the girls, or whatever the polite term is for them, that ran with you and your associates in town, and I heard tell of a man who sounded like you. I would love to see you again if you could spare me a little bit of your time. I'm renting a room at Chadwick Farm, just north of Valentine. Yours, Mary Linton. So, Jose and I found some locals on the edge of camp. Hello. Hey, get up.
Arthur, Arthur, come lend a hand here. Go ahead and call your mama for a lack of hair. Uh, take it easy, I got lumbago. <laughs> Should have thought about ah. that earlier. Just a regular bum on the plush. Just move along. Yeah. All right, girl. Oh, well. Fine looking animal you got there, my friend. Easy, girl. You're okay. Easy, girl. Yes? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to disturb you, ma'am. Um, is, um, is Mrs. Linton in? I'll go see. Mrs. Linton? A collar for you. Hello, Arthur. I heard you and your friends was around. I... Okay. Where's what's-his-name? Died. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. Happened a while ago. Pneumonia. Bad business. Sure. So, uh... Well, you've been... <clears throat> you've been made a widow and you come here looking for me, is that it? No, ain't like that. Arthur. Oh, okay. I... Uh, my family. I need your help. You mean the family that always looked down on me? You want me to help them? It's my little brother, Jamie. <laughs> I always liked Jamie. At least compared to the rest of them. He's broken Daddy's heart. Daddy has a heart? Don't make me beg you, Arthur. My money, my life, me. I wasn't good enough. I'm sorry. We need your help real bad. Little Jamie's joined the Chelonians, that strange religious order. 
Good for him. They're quite mad, Arthur. They'll kill him. You're the only person he'd listen to. So, I'm too rough to marry into your family, but it's okay to ask me to help in saving your family. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to help me, but... But I think of you often. Long time ago now. I'm begging you, Arthur. I say let Jamie live Jamie's life and not the nightmare that his daddy dreamed up for him. Jamie's so innocent, Arthur. Please, Arthur. Will you help me? Where is it? Somewhere out near Carmody Dell, I think. The rancher there said he'd seen him around the Cumberland Forest area. I just want him back, Arthur. If you find him, bring him to me at the station. I'll see what I can do. I'll owe you. You already owe me. Always the same. No damn follow through. Yeah. Died on me, twisted my ankle, something fierce. Think you could give me a ride? Yeah, sure. Hop on. Oh, thank you. No! no!
led pilgrims across the Lanahassi into the wilderness. Kill! Can I speak to the boy? Arthur? Hello, son. Your sister is very worried. The boy has chosen a path, sir. The path to truth. Well, I mean, his sister just wants to speak with him. Arthur, I've chosen a path. The boy has chosen a path. He's chosen safety. What path have you chosen, sir? I don't know about this nonsense. Let me speak to the boy. Dut, dut. Are you always this negative and antagonistic, sir? <sighs> I'm not a very cultured man. Forgive me, please. <laughs> I am a fool for my God and a happy one, sir. I bless you. What do I dream about? Who are my heroes? I have no idea. Uh, turtles. Yeah, turtles. Hey, you love turtles. I love them too. Turtles. Jamie knows the truth, but of course, you may speak with him. Exactly. If your teachings are so great, what harm can I do? I'm... I'm not... I'm not coming with you, Arthur! Just come and speak with Mary, then make up your mind! Leave me alone, Arthur! I didn't ask for your help! Sister's worried about you. Morgan. Leave me alone. Please, kid. Put that gun down. I warn you, Arthur. I'm... I'm gonna... I don't want to live anymore. Kid, just calm down. Leave me alone. Down. What's going 
Go see your sister. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, kid. Have I been a terrible fool, Arthur? I don't know. I don't know enough about it. But one thing I do know, there ain't no shame in looking for a better world. I missed you, Arthur. Are you and Mary sweet on one another again? Oh, no. That's all a long time ago, son. Well, this wasn't how I thought today would turn out. It's been a long time, Jamie Gillis. You were a kid last time I saw you. And didn't try to kill yourself. You know, you taught me how to ride a horse. Too well, apparently. Chelonia, though? Really? You'd fall for that? They were very nice to me. They're decent. I'm sure. Please tell me you didn't give them any money. Of course I did. They rely on charitable donations. Jesus, Jamie, come on. I just wanted to believe that there might be something good coming my way one day. Guess that's dead in the water. With the turtle. Shut up. All Father kept telling me was, you won't amount to anything. You're not enough of a man. I had to get away. I couldn't take it anymore. Forgive me. But your father's a bully and a coward. Don't listen to him. Hey, don't talk about him like that. What do you want me to say, Jamie? He's a good father? Nice man? He won't be happy I saw you. Please send him my worst regards. Thing is, he's right. I'm not good at anything. Come on, that ain't true. Tell me something you like. Um... Don't think too hard. Apples, I guess. Apples? Yeah, I love apples. Okay. I was thinking more along the lines of carpentry or horses or something. But, all right, go work in an orchard then. By that token, you must really like shooting and robbing people. I only like shooting young idiots who run away from me when I'm trying to help them. Father told me what you do. I'm sure he did. Are you still with Dutch and what was his name? H Hester? Jose. Yep, still the same, sort of. And Annabelle and Bessie? I'm afraid they're dead. Shit. Maybe Mary did make the right choice. No doubt. But none of it is anything like the nonsense you read in the newspapers. So, are you two getting back together? I told you, no. Just ask me for a favor. You know Barry Linton's dead? Pneumonia. He told me. So the door's open, so to speak. Here we are. She must be waiting inside. Make it quick or I might run off again. about seeing her, aren't you? Jamie! Jamie! Come home, please. You've... Father's been very sad. My father wouldn't know sadness if it died in his bed. But I'll come home for you. My boy. My sweet boy. Come on. Oh, Arthur. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to see you, Mary. And you, Arthur. And you. I've... 
you're... Oh, you'll never change. I know that. I feel like the luckiest man alive, and I feel like a fool. That woman confuses me and plays me for a fiddle like no one else alive. I trust I will not make a god-awful fool of myself once more, but... Somehow, I imagine I shall. Howdy. Easy there. Hey, Somebody careful, man. Didn't mean nothing by it. I was in the army. Leviticus Cornwall's train robbers still at large. Had to shoot at some kids picking through the wood pile. No respect. Someone's gonna help a fella out. Somebody, please. Right, got real bad nerves. I can't work. Can you give me some money? Anyway. Evening, mister. Uh-oh, mister. Uh, Howdy. No. <laughs> Welcome to Smithfields. Give me another drink. How's it going, tough guy? Right Partner, bar. good to see you. That's how it was. So, Back what are we doing? Day. Damn near a work of art. Shit and everything. We didn't care. You know why? Because real men don't care where other men turn. That's just a fact. The other side of it is, if you do care, you ain't no man at all. I can do just about anything with this hair, I reckon. Goddamn annoying ladies, all you. Right. You ain't I'll bad. Him done. No, I bought 50 oh, inches. People. You know the same thing. Thanks, Barton.
can you? Please. I've been on the run for days now. Uh, if you could help me with these shackles, I, I just might have a chance. So how'd you end up like this? Just shoot the damn chains already. Come on. Just shoot the chains off, please. Please, I'm done for otherwise. Enough. Oh, 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 yes, yes. Perfect. Ah, thank you. Mm -hmm. I, I got no money to give you, but I think I might got something even better. Some of those fellows talked about this old crone up north of Strawberry got herself a tidy sum locked away. Maybe just stories, but they were sure excited. Oh, yeah? Why'd I be interested in that, huh? Um, I don't know, just a hunch. It's up to you, friend. There, girl. You got some problem with me? Swords here. I took a little jolt and I managed to get myself hopelessly lost. I am staying in Strawberry. If you could just guide me back. Can't think of a good reason to say no. Oh, thank you, thank you, sir. Shall I ho hop up there on the, on the back with you? Your legs work, don't they? <sighs> well, yes, I suppose. It's just a little demeaning. What are you doing out here, anyway? It clearly ain't your natural habitat. Is 
something wrong? Do you see something? I, no, 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 I'm just visiting. I, I, I'm from New York City, actually. You don't say. Oh, yes. There was some talk at the country club about this burgeoning little resort town called Strawberry. So I thought it might be quite the trip to see what all the fuss was. Perhaps make a few investments while it was still undervalued. Turns out I was made the fool. Not enjoying it, Dan? It's a town of splinters. If you could call it much of a town at all. I'd hardly stepped off the carriage and I'd taken in the whole place. I suppose some might call it charming. <laughs> Let me tell you, charm is not worth much these days. You show me a timber frame shack and I'll show you Broadway. And meanwhile, you have this mayor, a quite intolerable blowhard. A little bespoke woodwork and he thinks this is a cultural hub? The man's completely deluded. Well, I should give him some credit. He must be quite the salesman. He did get me out here after all, more fool me. Now I'm tromping through the leaves in the muck with some cowboy. Uh, no, no offense. Little taken. Oh, yes. This does look familiar. Are we close to town? <laughs> Sir, you've rescued me from the depths! You seem quite the resourceful sort, sir. If for some reason you plan to spend any time in Strawberry, you may want to look into that gabbing mayor. Something is definitely off with him. All right. I'll keep that in mind. Maybe stay in town for now, huh? A rock and a hard place. Thanks anyway. This way. Come on. Just taking it one day at a time. That's the way it goes.
Hello, sir. I've uh, I've come from Blackwater. I'm on the trail of a dangerous gang, Como Driscoll. Heard you had some sort of incident. We don't deal with bounty hunters around here, son. I, I was just wondering if I could get a description. Well, they weren't friends. They got in a fight, two men got killed. Now, one of them's an idiot, the other's some kind of dumb mick, so maybe them's your boys. You can look right enough when we hang them. Thank you, sir. Arthur! Arthur! Hello, old friend. Had a good time, did you? <laughs> you going to get me out of here? I ain't decided yet. Real funny. Oh, I ain't joking, cowpoke. I heard so much bluster out of your mouth these last six months. And now, I got an opportunity to watch you be silenced. Well, you gotta do something. Why? I always looked up to you, Arthur. Well, that's your first mistake. Listen, there's one little problem. There's only one of me, and there's a whole town full of people wanting to see you swing. You got to do something, Arthur. Maybe that steam donkey over there still works. Disaster this is gonna be. Just pull that lever. Come on. Come on. What the hell are you doing? He wasn't O'Driscoll. I knew you would.
a house call in the middle of all that ain't much I care about more than those guns that much is clear who was that fella skinny yeah we ran together for a while did a bank job down south didn't end well I saw how goddamn ended he was gonna let me hang I'm starting to wish I had and you owe Lenny too he hadn't found us in time. Yes, you will all be thanked profusely, I promise. Yeah, well, you're lucky Dutch has got your back. Some unknown reason. <laughs> I 
think we finally lost him. Well, I hope so. I'm giving you a holster. It's my way of saying thank you. And thank you. There I was, having a dull day only for you. To liven it up by letting me help you shoot up <laughs> half a town. You're a funny fellow, Arthur. Real funny. <clears throat> why you act all sour all yeah, the time? Yeah, well, you ain't funny at all. So why you gotta act like the court chest? Right, listen. I'm sorry, but we're family now. Arthur, you and me. <clears throat> Sons of Dutch. Makes us brothers. <clears throat> Sometimes... Brothers make mistakes. Now I'm heading back to my little camp where I'm back a strawberry. Come see me. Maybe I can make things up to you. You ain't heading back to Dutch? No, I've been a bad boy, Arthur. I ain't seeing Dutch till I can bring him a peace offering. <clears throat> Bye now. Yeah! Let's go, girl. Sorry, girl. God, you did it. Praise Jesus. Oh, God. I gotta, gotta grab something for, for the blood. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I was uh, done for you. You saved me. Thank you. <laughs> Take something from my back for the trouble, though. I'm, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a, take a minute now. My leg feels like it's, like it's on fire. Here, drink this for the pain. <laughs>
Oh, Mr. Downs! Oh, Mr. Downs! Downs! Where are you? Downs! Whatever do you want? <coughs> Mr. Thomas Downs? You owe me money. Uh, oh, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm... We ain't a charity, Mr. Downs. Really? Certainly, would you? Oh, please, I have a family, sir, please. I don't care about your family. Why'd it have to come uh, to this, huh? Believe me, sir, I didn't want this either. This is not forgiveness of my debt. This is just a stay. You ain't such a do-gooder, are you? If you're running out on debt... I'm I'm not running anywhere. I'm I'm I'm, do, I'm doing my best for you. Your dad's caught you, mister. And it ain't letting go. You borrowed money from my business partner, Herr Strauss. You owe him, you took the money. He wants it back, what's not to understand? <laughs> Where's our money? I don't have it. Sell your place. We already owe more than it's worth. <coughs> then sell your wife or your family or something. We ain't your idea of <coughs> charity. Is that clear? <coughs> Thomas! What are you looking at? Thomas! I said what you looking at, woman. My husband isn't well. If we could just have more... Like I said, we ain't nobody's idea of charity. Get us the money.
Ah, how did you get on? Not so good. He's almost dead. And they seem more or less destitute. You were a fool for lending them the money. Well, people who aren't desperate don't seem so interested in my propositions. Of course. Coming along, Mr. Pearson. All in good 